to my channel. Today we continue with chapter 3 electrical current and direct current circuit. So in this video we will continue discuss on subtopic 3.7 electrical energy and power. Okay so for this subtopic we have three equations. Okay the first one is P equals to IV, P equals to I square R and P equals to V square over R. Okay so power here we have two types of power. Okay power we have two types. The first one is the power supply okay so usually power supply is by the battery okay and another one is our power loss or power dissipated okay so usually this power dissipated is inside the okay it's on the resistor okay because the resistor when the current passing through the resistor the energy will dissipated okay similar with the power the power will loss huh, due to the uh, current passing through the resistor okay okay so you must refer back to the questions whether it's power supply or power dissipated okay so we look at example 13 okay here in the figure above the battery has an emf of travel and internal resistor of one ohm okay determine the rate of energy transfer to the electrical energy by the battery okay so when the question say by the battery meaning that this is actually power power supply okay power supply by the battery okay by the battery so we know that this is power supply meaning that when you want to use the equations we can use i of course v here is actually emf uh, because the battery uh, is the we, we need to use the emf uh, is the energy or the voltage supply here okay okay and i square r or v square over r we cannot use because Okay, it's not related to the resistor. So these two equations we cannot use. Huh? When the question mentioned is power supplied by the battery, these two equations we cannot use because uh, this one not related to the resistor. Okay, so we use I EMF. Okay, where I is equals to okay, I we don't have later we need to find out first. And EMF is equals to 12. Okay, so you need to find I first. Okay, from this diagram actually we can use the equations of emf to determine the value of the current so we can use emf equals to v internal plus v terminal or v external okay where emf is equal to trial okay v internal is ir v external is i capital r okay so we can substitute inside trial equals to i we factorize out because i is series huh? R internal is 1 ohm, R external is 5 ohm. Okay, therefore I we will get 12 over 6 is 2 ampere. So we substitute inside here 2 ampere. Okay, therefore the power supply is equal to 24 watt. Okay, okay, next find the rate of heat dissipated. Okay, in the battery. So the question said inside the battery. So inside the battery, the power dissipated is actually due to the internal internal resistor. So our P dissipated here. Okay, P dissipated here because the question mentioned is inside the battery. So our equation okay is equal to I square and R internal. Okay, R internal. Okay, I just now we get two ampere. And the internal resistor is 1 ohm, therefore it's equal to 4 watt. Okay, so meaning that the battery initially supplies 24 watt, but internally already dissipated 4 watt. So the remaining 20 watt is actually used for external uh, external resistor. Okay, so next we continue. The amount of heat loss. We want to find the amount of heat loss, okay, the energy loss. In the 5 ohm resistor, if the current flow through it for 20 minutes, okay. So here we want to find what is the heat loss inside the 5 ohm resistor. Okay, as I mentioned just now, our P supply here, okay, is supply to P internal and also P external or terminal. So initially we have 24 watt, okay, because internally already lost 4 watt. Okay, so meaning that our P external or P terminal, okay, P is equal to 24 minus 4. Therefore, 20 watt will goes to dissipated inside the 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so this is a remaining. Okay, so now we want to find the heat loss. Heat loss, not power, is energy. Okay, our P is equal to energy over time. So we want to find the heat energy. 
Okay, so heat energy is equal to power times T. Where power is 20, time here is 20 minutes, so 20 times 60. Therefore, the energy lost inside the 5 ohm resistor, we will get 2.4 exponent for Joule. Okay, so the unit is Joule because of this is a uh, heat energy. Okay, so that's all for this uh, subtopic. We continue with the next subtopic, 3.8 potential divided. See you, bye. Thank you.